Good evening. We are coming to you from the beach after a day of being on the beach. Yeah. And uh, we were trying to wait around to the sunset and before we went and found some dinner. And so we thought while we were waiting for the sunset, we'd share with you guys about our day. So, tell us about our day. Uh, we spent the day walking on the beach. And I wish I would have set my Garmin to know how far we walked. But I did check and I have gotten 20,000 steps and we've only went one direction. That is correct. We plan to take a taxi back. And the taxis here are super cool. They're like, what do you even call those things? Oh, I can't remember what they are. They're like little yeah. carts. Yeah. Where like the driver's in the front and you're in the back, but it's like a little Three wheeler, cart. it's a three wheeler. Yeah, almost like a horse drawn carriage, but with a motor and uh, metal. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I can't remember the name of them either, but uh, they're much like you see in Asia. Yeah. So. Yeah. They're all bright red and um, yeah, everybody's nice. So yeah. we're going to take one on our way back to our room instead of walking along the beach to get all the way back. Yeah, because she has no shoes. Oh yeah. I have no shoes. None. I left them in the room because I didn't quite realize we were going this far. But what we did discover is that the beach outside of our um, Airbnb is the best beach of them all. Like we have walked miles and they're all covered with um, coral and you have to like find little pods to swim in but the one outside our room for a good length I mean it's not just right there it's a good stretch of the way but it is pristine gorgeous perfect beach oh and I'm lying to you we did pass some great beaches where they were surfing it just happens to be the ones here in town have a lot of coral along the way yeah there's a, there's a reef along the way so. yeah but uh other than that no we had a good walk we went uh, down the beach and then we went back to the place took a little break and then we headed up towards uh, uh puerto, Vie puerto viejo right? yeah yeah yep we did some souvenir shopping for the kiddos we kind of waited to the last minute even though oh the water touched our feet. Oh my goodness, the tide must be coming in. Holy cow, we'll see if we can get through this video without getting wet. But um, we had heard that Monteverde had the most inexpensive souvenirs. And I think we can confirm that that is in fact true. Because we've waited now until we get to Puerto Viejo to buy souvenirs and they are not the least expensive. But this morning, I think I drove Nick entirely crazy because I went through all the shops taking pictures with the kids on a group chat so they could pick out what they wanted. And interestingly, three out of four children choose a tapestry. The fourth chooses a machete. And the other three would have probably picked a machete. They just didn't know that was an option. We had a side chat going on about the machete. <laughs> so even though we came here with carry-on bags, we will check a bag on the way home for all the souvenirs and the machete. Which brings up a good point. We should talk about travel tips for packing. Oh yeah, so we came with uh, just one carry-on a piece. I think, well, you, you had two, right? Yeah, I had um, two. I had like my backpack and then a smaller bag yeah. with just some like reading material. But yeah, we just packed one. Um, so, you know, you don't have to have uh, the kitchen sink and everything else if you want to uh, travel for a couple weeks. And what I'll say, even with only bringing a carry-on, I still pack too much stuff. There are clothes I have not yet worn. Um, we didn't really know how often we'd be able to do laundry, and in hindsight, we've done laundry twice since we've been here. Yep. Um, but yeah, I packed, I could have packed half the amount of clothes. And the other thing that's important to know is anything you need, you can buy here. So we bought toothpaste and shampoo and conditioner and sunscreen because all of those are liquids over three ounces. So we just bought all that when we got here. And the only thing I probably could have packed better were shoes because um, my sandals ended up rubbing blisters on my feet and hence why I decided just to go barefoot today. Uh, but um, I don't know, was there anything you wish you would have packed that you didn't? I have not missed anything. Yeah, you can buy anything you need here. Um, and I haven't had to buy anything. Yeah, we haven't so. bought anything either. 
I do though plan to check a bag because I bought liquids, some of the um, liquor from this area and coffee and well that's not a liquid but the liquor I'll have to pack because I want to bring those home as souvenirs yep. for friends and family talking about you Amy and Gary <laughs> so uh, yeah but besides that no uh, packing I mean honestly I think most of the time we all understand that we overpack yeah uh, it's hard to get away from that I learned in my two-week excursion to Mexico earlier this year that um, mm -hmm. that I didn't need as much as I thought I needed uh, because I did pack just to carry on I was like hey you know let's just let's just do that and but at the time he also didn't know it and a I was two -week I was only excursion. planning to be there for a week so I packed the same bag uh, with probably less stuff than I did last time yeah and made it this entire time just fine yeah. so I would just say you know the big pack key things light. are pack light um, you can travel easy with a with a backpack I promise you you don't need it all you don't and anything truly you can get it here I packed way too much underwear I've been wearing a bathing suit almost every day I didn't need to pack that many pair of underwear lesson learned yep besides that yeah packing tips that's that's the big thing just pack light don't carry more than you think you need. You don't need those yeah. rolling bags that uh, you you know you pull through the airport. No, um, easy you don't breezy. you don't need the the nesting bags that you have one on top of the other. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if you were going to Europe for maybe a month, okay, I could see that maybe. But um, no, you don't need to drag that stuff all the way across the airport and through mm -hmm. a, you know through a country. I mean, it's super easy. You just pull your stuff out, make sure you got your uh, outfit for the day throw everything back in and then once you're leaving the place you realize that you're just carrying a bag and it's nice so yeah easy to pack be on the move um i do want to talk about our airbnb that we video broadcast about last night uh and if you caught our very short clip that we did earlier today you will have heard that i um am re recanted recanting yes. my earlier position it's actually really nice. I mean, it's still rough. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going and cooking in that kitchen. But I did make coffee, and it was delicious. The nature sounds are phenomenal. We could hear the waves all night. Uh, once I embraced the idea of what it was, I think I was just in such shock because we had come from such a nice Airbnb at half the price, and then we show up to this one. So I think it was just the uh, shock of it. But once I just went with it, it's actually really, really nice. This morning I had coffee in the hammock. We listened to all the birds. Nick has been fascinated with the spiders. Oh yeah, yes. they are amazing. Big, big spiders. Huge, yeah. big and spiders. And there's so many of them. They literally are everywhere. And if you thought about just taking a walk through the jungle, I would say rec I recommend against it because everywhere I looked this morning, it was spider. Bags. Or at least take a spider stick. Yeah, yeah. Take, yeah. take a big spider stick. A big so spider can... stick. Just like, oh gosh, Fiona in Shrek. Yep. Spider stick. Yep, it works. Cotton candy. Yeah, just like cotton candy. Just don't eat it. But yeah, the uh, spiders are the spiders are, huge. are ginormous. And he's just been fascinated. Like, he'll just sit there and watch them and rework in their oh, nests. Yeah. And honestly, I really think we should be grateful for them because there were no mosquitoes biting us. And I'm pretty sure that's because they were all trapped in the spider nest. Oh, yeah. And we saw some humming hummingbirds, and I was kind of worried for them because these spider webs are so huge. Yeah. I imagine it could entangle a hummingbird. Probably so. So these are golden orb golden golden web orb spiders also known as banana spiders there's several variants these are not the toxic kind that you would find in brazil these are not the wandering brazil spiders that they call banana spiders but um they are pretty mild from anywhere from like a bee sting to less than that i think if you were bitten by them uh Although they do look terrifying. If I were to walk into it, you'd probably see me jumping around and <laughs> falling into the forest and, yeah. uh, and rolling on the ground trying to get the stuff off me. They're uh, huge. Because they're that big. They would literally cover half my face. But besides oh. that, uh, no, it was... Uh, the spiders are phenomenal. They're just amazing. They're just... Uh, it's almost like at a certain time in the morning, they're just deciding to 
move around and redo their webs and kind of reset and clean up and it's really interesting to watch you can see the uh, the females and the males and and how they're kind of hanging around close proximity to each other but speaking uh, of animals I remembered what I wanted to share with you all so previously days and days and days ago I had like the most uh, traumatic incident was seeing a roadkill of an iguana. Oh, yeah. Today, the traumatic incident has been raised a notch. Yes. It's uh, like, I don't remember what town we were in when we saw that. Del Coco, maybe? Maybe Del Coco. Maybe Del Coco. Yeah. And so, essentially, Puerto Viejo is like, I'll see your De Coco and raise you 20. It was so disturbing. So we were, we've been walking along the beach all day long and sometimes you have to kind of cut inland through a path to get around some of the rocky edges. There was a flock of what I assume vultures, are vultures yeah. feasting on a dead, decapitated sloth. The head was gone. You could see the sloth claws. Like, without a doubt, it was a sloth. It was a, definitely a sloth. They were feasting on it. So, the most traumatic thing I've seen yet. Now, I had to go back to my pictures, and not to get too graphic, but I think perhaps that was not a headless sloth. Because I think I had the head on the other side. You think it's an assless sloth? I think so. I think. Well, many times that's... Where they pull out the entrails? Yeah. Oh. oh. There definitely was a cavity there. It oh could my have God. been either There was definitely it, a hole in the sloth. We just don't know which I end it would, was. I personally um, oh, am God. not a nature expert. Disturbing is really the point. But I believe that it was definitely not the head that was missing. Disturbing. It was just an open cavity of the other end. Wow. Uh, okay. But... In any case, it was a dead sloth and we saw it and the vultures are definitely all around, for sure. Yeah. Yep. Disturbing. On a brighter note, breakfast was amazing. We went to this great place. That is quite the transition to go from a dead, uh, entrailed, mm -hmm. de-entrailed, I don't even know what you call that, to breakfast. But breakfast yeah. was really, really good. Where did we go for breakfast? <laughs> it was a place called Bread and Chocolate. Oh, Bread and Chocolate, yeah. 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 There was somebody who had typed on there that it was one of the best places here, and so we went and gave it a try. The portions were huge, I well, swear. Well, they weren't huge. They were well, American. Well, they were huge. American they were American size. portions. Yes, definitely. I was so full. But I tell you what, I got the uh, fried egg and... Sandwich. Uh, yeah, fried egg sandwich. And you added bacon and avocado. And I added bacon and avocado <laughs> and then got the fruit. And, and it, it was, was on a bagel. Yeah, it was on a bagel. With seeds. I could have got it on bread, oh. but they had, you know, they asked you, do you want it on a bagel? Do you want seeds? Do you want it on bread? So good. But it was really good. And a caramel... Oh, yeah, yeah. What did you get? A caramel uh, macchiato? I got a, a frijo... Uh, Caramello uh, or cappuccino caramel. Oh, yeah. I just got the hot cappuccino. Yeah. It's so so basically, good. I got a cold cappuccino with caramel. Yeah, and it was good. I keep glancing back to make sure we're not going to miss the sunset. Although there's so many clouds, I don't think we'll quite see it. We'll give you a view before we end the video. Um, but yeah, today has truly been a beach day. We've relaxed, walked on the beach, shopped in the shops, eaten in the restaurants. We're still gonna eat dinner somewhere and uh, just hanging out. We're gonna get a good night's sleep because we found out some pretty terrible news. I checked how long it takes to drive to San Jose. Thought it was three hours, four hours and 50 minutes. Another long drive. Four hours and 50 minutes to get there. The water touched our toes again. This is very, very exciting. Not quite five hours though. It's going to be a long day on driving to get to our very last night before we hit the airport. Yep. And hopefully we'll get there in a time to see a little bit of San Jose um, before we have to fly out. I can't believe our vacation is coming to an end. It has been incredible. But one thing we were thinking is that if ever we were going to bring all the kids here, this is the town to do it because the beaches are free. Everything is in close distance to walk. Uh, and of the places we've been, this seems like the place where they would have the most fun, 
and not break the bank. Yeah, I think so. I mean, just because there's so much here and it's uh, the beaches are super nice. And, and we safe. can walk out. Yeah, you can walk out a hundred meters in some spots. Yeah. Uh, and swim within the, uh, with inside the, uh, uh, the reef, you know. And so the, the reef provides a nice barrier uh, to keep the big waves out, even though some of the waves obviously come over the top of it, but um, it's just a nice little area that you can get in there. And our beach that we're at, it has a lot of space. I mean- Oh, the beach is so good. You're not crowded. There's, it's not like uh, American beaches where there's just people stacked on people. Yeah. Uh, but it also is, is very much, it goes from jungle to uh, a sandy beach right into the water. So, yes, <laughs> yes it um, does. There's no huge highways. Oh, which made me, um, something I thought about this morning while I was laying in the hammock is a bit of gratitude for our rustic cabin. Because that plot of land where it's at, a developer could cut down all those trees and build this huge high rise resort and charge so much more because the view on the beach is amazing. And it just made me very, very grateful that that has not happened and that we have the opportunity to sleep in our very rustic cabin. That's right. And it just gave me a whole new perspective because it is unlike anything. It's very, very close to nature. Yes. It's, uh, it's in nature, but at the same time, uh, the cabin's nuts, you know, it's, um, you're the bed right there. Is so comfortable. Uh, and the bed has been, like she said earlier, the bed has been, uh, the most comfortable we've had and since we've been here. I think. Yeah. I think the yeah. whole time that bed and is And I can judge that based off of how many times I have to turn over in the night. Yeah. Um, because either my, my leg or my shoulder, my arm is going to sleep. Yeah, so. the beds are usually too firm. Like the mattresses are thin and they're just firm. But this mattress is yeah. really, really good. All right. Yeah. I'd love to give you guys a view of the water since you've just seen the clouds in this tree branch the whole time. So bear with me as I rotate the camera and show you the ocean. All right. There it is, our nice little swimming hole. Here's where our feet were and the water is creeping up on them. There is where we're waiting on the sunset before we head to dinner. And yeah, it's just a nice little spot a few miles away from our Airbnb. Beautiful, beautiful day. It truly is. And there's a plane. Oh, I wonder if you guys can see it. Oh, I can't see it in the video, but it's totally there. It'll show up. Yeah, I'll hold out till you can see the airplane. Oh yeah, it looks tiny on the screen, but in real life it's quite, it's like a little hopper plane. Yeah, probably heading to San Jose maybe, I don't know. Looks like it's going to Panama. Panama, that's true. We are really, really close to Panama right now. Like, shockingly close, like miles close. So, all right, I'm gonna flip it back around. Thank you guys so much for continuing to watch our videos and uh, we are, what is this, day 13? Day I think 13. day 13, yep. tomorrow's day 14 and we fly home on day 15. All right, have a good one.